everybody, it's Debbie. I'm back again with another flip of my Fobonichi. I think this is number six. I'm not really sure. When I left off, we were on October 30th, uh, for those of you that watched the prior one. And I don't know why I didn't finish the last day of October last time, but I think the video was getting too long. But anyway, here's my October 31st. I went to my son and daughter-in-law's house out uh, about 45 minutes west of where I live so I could um, hang out with them while they carved pumpkins and they went trick-or-treating while I stayed at their new house and handed out candy. That's me saying I want candy. Basically that's why I went was to get the candy. So anyway I made this little uh, collage with uh, app on my iPhone. I think it's Pick Stitch. Um, I use it all the time and then I just printed this on my regular printer. Sometimes if I have time I will um, send them to like the drugstore or wherever and go pick them up. I like the glossy, glossiness of real photos, but just can't beat printing it on your regular printer and having it available right away. On the edges, I used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and a little makeup uh, sponge. I put those right here. I actually mixed this blue and this one I think is called raspberry, but when you mix them together, they basically make purple. And I just put them on with these little makeup sponges and I like bend them so there won't be a, a sharp edge and I just kind of twisty it around the page anyway that's how I do that and that's pretty much it the journaling here just talks about you know what we did and then November 1st I tried something different I used this was a journaling card this part right here um, it came just like this with these little blocks and I just kind of filled them in with different things that happened that day. And then I added a few other little cards and just decorated around it. I had the time change that day and I really was just listing here how much I just liked that. And the next day, uh, a bunch of journaling here about um, this fun page filler was about um, your favorite family recipe. And then I just did some journaling about um, the recipe and how it made it through our, our family and um, Anyway, etc. cetera. Um, this day I did an acrostic, which is using the, the letters of a word and then making a sentences out of it. At least I guess that's what it's called. And then just some more journaling about my day, um, some to-do lists, some thankfuls, and then colored in all the backgrounds as you can see, made some little blocks. On this page, I, um, Got this, I believe, off of Pinterest and colored it in with my little shiny gel pens. I'm not sure if they're coming across. They have little sparkly things in it. I did draw that tree and then just some other journaling. And I, you can see I washed it all around the edges. I was trying to fill up all the space. It had been raining. Of course, we could use a lot of that rain now, but at that time it had been raining off and on for weeks. Um, here's a five on Friday, and for this one it was wrapping paper, which were these dots. And uh, I said here the sun finally peeked its head out just in time for sunset. So really can't see much from my house. It's all wooded, but I did catch a little glimpse of the sun. Something that I love, which is the beach. Um, letter, a name I wish I had. So I had written in here a couple of different names. Uh, the name my mother had intended to name me, which was Donna Sue, and then she forgot. I don't know how you forget that, but anyway, she wound up naming me Debbie. And I listed some other names that I really like, but I actually really glad that my mother uh, forgot Donna Sue and named me Debbie instead. Um, add something sparkly, which is this butterfly over here. I'm not sure if you can tell that that's sparkling. And the lucky dip was to pick out some stickers, which were these flowers. And um, some of them I drew little stems and, and leaves on them. And then I really enjoyed this. Um, I There was a quote for the day, and I cut each one of these little letters out of magazines and purposely made them different. Um, and I really liked the way it turned out. Although it was kind of time consuming, but eh, you know, what else do I have to do? Um, on this page, I did, these are some prior art circles I did from Cat Hand. This video, I will link that below. Um, and then just some borders and journaling about my day. Again, more coloring in the background. Um, I used to do that a lot, but you'll see later I get 
completely away from that. Picture of my boys, um, sorry, not my boys, my grandsons, um, had come over to spend the night, um, Saturday night. And in the background, you can't really tell what this is, but this is their mattresses on the floor. Um, when they moved out the middle of the last month, um, their parents, of course, took their bunk beds with them. It was theirs. They had brought them with them. So for the time being, their mattresses were on the floor. I had gone and gotten some mattresses for them, and they begged me not. I was told them I was going to get another set of bunk beds, but they begged me not to because they really enjoyed going in and making that be in there, just a little bouncy house. Um, so that's basically what all this journaling was about. And then here I drew this little sun with a person walking on the sunshine because the sunshine had finally come out. This was Veterans Day, November 11th. This picture of my son, he um, is in the Army Reserve still. And at this time where this picture was taken, he was actually deployed in Afghanistan in 2011 and still serving in the, uh, still serving in the reserves now. And just a lot of journaling about some family health issues and then some more journaling about things I did that day. I think that was, um, I don't remember anything particular about that, except I did mention here about how beautiful the weather was. And these I got off of Pinterest or somewhere and colored those in and cut them out and put them on here. Um, some more Tim Holtz Distress Ink around the edges. And then I, these are more of those leaf stamps that you've seen periodically throughout throughout the journal so far. This was just a really pretty page that I loved and cut out. And um, just some journaling about the day. Here's another five on Friday. Um, on this one, you were supposed to just get a paper pad and pick the fifth page, which was this border right here. Something calendar related, so I just cut out a calendar. Photo of people special to me, which is my son, daughter-in-law, and Logan and Jackson. Add an arrow. I had this new, actually, little arrow stamp that I used. And then add a watch or a clock. This was on some scrapbooking paper I had, and I cut that out. Here on November 14th, um, I tried something a little different here. I just, instead of coloring the background, I just kind of sketchy colored it. I don't know if that makes any difference. A bunch of different colors without borders. And I took my Choose Joy stamp, which I really love that stamp, and made a dangle out of it. Dangled the letters and then dangled below it. I love, love, love dangles. Love when people do them too. I love seeing those. And I don't know if you noticed, I didn't point this out, but at the bottom of each page, I had my counting blessing stamps and tried to list something I was thankful for in the month of November. Um, this is some YouTube videos that I watched. I had been in my house more than a year at that point, and I had three things that I had not been able to do, which was change an overhead light in the garage, reprogram the keyless entry, and um, locate the off switch for my ice maker. I don't use much ice, so it would just get jammed, and then when I wanted to use ice, I couldn't use it. So anyway, I went out to YouTube. This is probably the first time I ever used YouTube and Googled all three of those things and had them all done in the same day. So that's kind of started my uh, love of YouTube. And then here's a little picture I had on the drive home. It's not a really pretty picture here, but um, it was just the leaves pretty much gone, but it was a really pretty drive home. And then I think that night I did some um, art circles. I, read, I read, wrote that somewhere. And so I just used them around the border here and colored petals around them in a little vine. And just love doing these art circles. There's just so much you can do with them. Now, this was the quote for the day, and I attached that with some uh, letter, uh, some note washi, and then just my journaling on the inside. There were some uh, negativity in the news that day, which I don't normally watch or write about, but it was a big event, so I wrote, did some journaling about that, and then a sunset picture on my drive home. And I think I'm going to stop there for now, so this won't be too long. I hope you enjoyed looking at my pages, got some ideas or um, just some inspiration for your own pages. If you have any questions, please feel free to put the comments below. Um, please like and subscribe to my videos if you feel the need and desire, and uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Thanks so much.